In good health today, more than 5 million Americans are living with Alzheimer's disease, and many millions more are eagerly awaiting new medications to treat it. But are researchers making any headway? Our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with new progress on a report that has been just released. Yeah, Karen and Jason, you know, actually there have not been any new Alzheimer's drugs approved since 2003. After some high-profile disappointments, many fear that the Alzheimer's drug pipeline has actually run dry. But this new report says that is not necessarily true, and recent failures are helping scientists move forward. I hear over and over when I give talks around the country, there's nothing going on, there's no hope, there's nothing, no progress being made. Not so, says Dr. Marwan Sabah of the Cleveland Clinic, who studied the state of Alzheimer's research. This is an $8 billion industry, and there's massive amounts of research going on to the tune of 75 drugs in clinical trials right now. The progress report looks at drugs being developed, how far along they are, and how they work. Earlier this year, researchers experienced a major setback when a highly anticipated drug failed. The drug targeted amyloid, a type of protein linked to Alzheimer's that accumulates in the brain. Dr. Sabah says while these types of drugs are not making as much progress as researchers had hoped, there are new ideas moving forward. More individualized Alzheimer's treatment based on certain genetic characteristics are emerging, and some scientists are looking at bacteria's role in Alzheimer's disease. A blood test to potentially detect Alzheimer's risk is on the horizon as well. Sabah stresses, every discovery helps lead the science in the right direction. I know we're in baseball season now. We're, we're not going to hit the home run here. We're going to hit base hits, and we're just going to keep chipping away at this incremental progress. That's how we're going to make the, this disease uh, something we can manage better. Now, of the drugs in clinical trials, 28 are currently be being tested in 42 different phase three trials. That is the last step before consideration by the FDA for approval. Now, there is also an increase in the number of drugs in each phase of testing compared to 2018, and every failure does give a clue as to what does not work sometimes right. and what new avenues can be investigated. So in a strange yeah. way, that gives you a little bit of hope. It's exactly. It's so yeah. frustrating. Mm -hmm. Thanks, right. Doc. Police in many cities now wear body cams all the time.